All right, so I'm going to show you how to pack a Valley of the Dead King, uh, version one of Hexplore It. Um, so first of all, I had to show you the hero chest. Uh, I do keep in the hero chest all the markers, um, all of course the hero placards, the uh, dry erase, and then I do keep all the dice, like all the Sands dice, Hexplore It, like everything from all four versions are going to be in here. Eventually that may not work, but right now it does. That kind of adds extra room in the boxes. All the tall cards, like races, aspects, um, keepsakes, legendary cards, any of the bonus dry erase pieces there. Um, we got, you know, this bonus as well. All the markers, those things can all just kind of fit in the hero chest. And that gives you extra space for the rest of the stuff. Since they are packed so tightly. So then once you look at this guy, um, I do, they do give, they gave you the extra booklets because the first binding was bad. And so they gave bonus ones for free. Um, I put those underneath the insert. And so that just is like kind of a nice way to tuck them away. And they're there if I ever need them. Then on this side, we have long border pieces where you have like the circumstance cards and stuff like that. Uh, I like to put that. Then that leaves space for a three. So we put a three one in there. We're going to do exactly the same thing again with another little little three. It kind of goes in the corner there. And then you can stack these two on top like so. Pretty simple there. On this side, you have five of your large hexes. And that will just stack at the bottom. You have the other five here, which gives you a total of ten. And that will go on the other side. Then you grab your four large pieces, which are the starting ones here. Then you put those, they only go one way. They can't go the opposite way, they hang over. And so you rotate them around. With these ones that have the larger cutout, I always grab then kind of the smaller hexes and just put one in there with that one. And grab the other one that's like that, that goes the opposite way. Grab the other one that's large and you put that right there. Then we have the last two, so we'll put that one in there. Grab a four, got another one, put that in there. I grab another four. And then that is true that this, like that's the last layer that kind of really stacks on well, but for the rest of the pieces here, it's totally fine if you just kind of lay them nice so they're nice and even. They, they won't slide around. Um, because there's so much stuff on top of them. Here, the next thing I have are all the bosses, all the placards, um, the battle mat, everything else. And so you just lay those right on top. That just goes right on there. That will hold everything in place. I then have the, the different decks. I like to put them this way so when I open up the box, it just looks nice and beautiful. You got all five decks here. So the living card deck is part of it. And then the last one here will also be the encounter deck. And this one will easily go here. You do have to kind of push it just a little bit, but it's, it's still, it still moves. It's fine. Then I have my two layers of my trays. I have plenty of space in the trays. So again, you can have dice and things in here if you want to just have my um, miniatures. We have all the little hex tiles that can just fold nice there. Uh, with the stretch goals pack from Fall of the Ancients. I just put some of the, all the bosses in another baggie there. And then we also got this beautiful dice bag as well. There's nothing in it. Eventually I could put some dice in it if I wanted to, but again, I have all that in the hero chest. Last thing I have are the actual rule books. So I just lay them like so on top. There is a little bit of overlap here, but again, that's not gonna do much at all. And then we have our awesome art um, that they gave us here. And I like, to, I like to just keep that in here. So just put that on top there and then close her up. And you can see there's no, no lift to the lid at all. Everything fits in perfectly. And there you go. Hopefully that helps.